Today we're going to be looking at cheap lighting for your DSLR video. I love the lights, I love the light. Da, 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 da. Let's get into this, shall we? Check out that lighting. Oh yeah. No lighting. Lighting. Look how well lit my face is. So in today's video we're going to be looking at uh, very cheap lighting, very cheap and very good lighting for DSLR or just other video work. You can actually use these for photography as well, um, rather than a flash to give you more light. They're basically just called an LED video light and it's 160 LEDs that are on it, which is why it's called um, CN 160. I'm rambling now, I'm rambling! The great thing about these lights is they only cost in the UK between 20 and 30 pounds um, and for that you are getting an enormous amount of light um, and a really good feature actually about these is this side bit actually allows you to adjust the light so you can click on and it's it's really quite dim I'll try and do this and not blind you so as you pull that up obviously the light gets brighter and brighter and now I'm blown out whoa a good thing with these as well is they come with wee kind of diffusers so you can simply slide that over the front and then it kind of diffuses the light so it's not it's not as harsh um, you can mess about with whatever looks best um, I actually got two of these lights so I mean for £20 or £30 pound, they're an absolute bargain and they really do help you um, your camera is to keep focused. If it's an auto focusing camera, um, like the 70D or the like the XA10 or something like that, having one of these in a low light situation, even just set on its dimmest one, just just on and no more, gives so much extra light into the scene that it allows your camera to focus a lot better. So um, unless you're using like really fast low light primes, which will have no problem focusing in low light then these lights are so useful. They're also really useful if you're actually just doing an interview or um, you're in a quite badly lit room. So yeah, you can find these lights for sale on Amazon and eBay. Um, so the pros and cons of these things, they are cheap, that's a pro, and they're cheap, which is also a con. They are really cheaply plastic made. Plastic yeah. Um The worst bit is the hot shoe where it would fit onto the top of your camera. It's so cheap and nasty, it's ridiculous. Um, and just to adjust it, you can adjust it forward and back. And even just that, it just seems like it's going to snap at some point if you're not careful. Um, the other bit is the back. Obviously you can see all my batteries in there, which is not a good look. But that does clip off. You've also got, you've got your six batteries in there. Um, it also comes with an adapter that allows you to fit uh, rechargeable batteries and the same kind of batteries you would use in your camcorder but I've just always stuck to using the batteries it's just it's the only thing about it is if you're, if you're doing a job it just doesn't look very good that you can see the batteries it would have been better if they had made the panel cover that um, but you need the access to that if you're using the other battery pack to slip your battery in the rechargeable one uh, there's also a button in the back you can test your battery power and um, see what it's sitting at these are also these are full just now um, one of the best things about these LED lights is they don't emit heat um, and if they do scientifically then it's so low that it's not even, you can't feel it. So that is a, a, a real plus because I have worked under professional studio lighting and you literally are melting and you start sweating and obviously if you're interviewing somebody and you've got them beaming on them they're going to start sweating and then that'll get picked up in the video and it'll just ruin the whole thing. So these are excellent, excellent value for money. So the hot shoe allows them to fit on top of a camera and um, we've also got a wee thread there so you can actually mount them on a, a tripod or other adapter thing I also picked up this wee adapter for them you get these for about a pound on eBay don't know what that would be in dollars, two dollars um, and your light just slides in it like that and obviously it's adjusted so that allows it to sit on a, a table or I don't know, a table or some other flat surface thing. Um, these video lights also come with two other kind of coloured diffusers that you can use. There's a pink one and an orange one. 
So whatever your preference is or whatever kind of style you're trying to do to the shot, that helps. But I always keep the white one on because I want a kind of natural white light. Okay, so now my room is in darkness, other than the PC screen in the corner there. So I'll now put these lights on and show you the effect that they have. And we're turning it up. We're turning it up. We're turning it up. We're turning it up. Okay, so there you go. That's the light fully on. Um, and obviously you can see everything in my room. It's almost like a, a flashlight now. But uh, my camera is at ISO 100 uh, f2.8. So obviously it's not a super bright scene. But you get the gist. Um, I'll just quickly turn it off again. Off. Fully on. You can see the amount of light you're getting there. Thanks for watching my review. Please subscribe. Okay, I'm burning my eyes now.